and again, a couple of half chances we didn't take. I uh, thought we bowled pretty well, and I actually thought we batted pretty well. It was a tough wicket. Um, would have been nice having set, set batter going into the last 10 there, uh, but yeah, all in all, just, just down a little bit, probably on all, in all areas. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, thought we were in it. Um, oh, we were in it, definitely. Uh, Sam's bowled beautifully, got, got some big wickets for us, and uh, you know, just a couple of little things didn't go our way. Um, MS just chipping the ball in front of fielders a few times, um, and then you know, there's a lot of class at the back end for him to get him home. So um, that was a hell of an innings help from both of them. It was a great partnership. I'm not quite sure what it was. It was 130, 140. Um, yeah, credit to them. They batted really well. I thought the boys bowled really well, and but, but they just a bit better on the day. Uh, I had a good look at it. I, I, it looked like a bounce. It went into the hand. Um, so obviously, Stoney was the best one to ask. He said uh, he wasn't sure, so always best just to have a look. You never really know. Yep, yep. I found it really hard, actually. Um, I only batted for 10 overs. Um, caught it with spinning it quite big. Um, and, the, and the quicks weren't really coming onto the bat. Uh, obviously, I, I wasn't set, but um, I thought it might have got a little bit slower and turned a bit more for us at the back end there. But again, we didn't really go to our slow balls or anything like that. We thought bashing wicket was good for us, and there was a bit of up and down there. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was probably a 250 wicket. Yep. What, what do I think? Excellent bowler. He's a fantastic bowler. He's a quality, uh, I think he's quality over here. He, he, actually, he's quality everywhere. Um, to be honest, I didn't really watch too much first up. I was at the back, but uh, at the back end, he was definitely hard to get away. Changed up well, hit his Yorkers. I think he nailed all his Yorkers. Didn't give me anything to hit. Um, so yeah, we know he's a quality, quality bowler, just like the rest of the Indian lineup. They're all quality bowlers. Yeah, he could have, um, but I think the credit to him, he was keeping uh, keeping out of on strike. So, uh, I th I th yeah, you'd like him to bowl a bit more at him, but it, like you said, he's bowling dots at the other end as well. So I think he bowled really well. He's he's a big quality bowler for bowler, bowler for us, and uh, he'll be he'll be important going into the World Cup. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's strange. Sometimes you feel like you bowl really well and take no wickets, and other times you feel like the ball's coming out really poorly and you take two for 40 or whatever I did today. But um, I was, I'm getting better. I sort of came in scratchy form off the BBL, so I'm, I'm getting better, definitely. Uh, hopefully I can hit my areas a little bit better than the next game for more for longer consistently, and the uh, ball will start feeling a bit nicer out of the hand. Yeah, I was actually surprised he hasn't played before when he got the cap presentation. I, was, I thought he played last year, but uh, he's, he's a quality player. We didn't see the, we haven't seen the best of him, but uh, I promise you we will. We're at the back end, he'll he'll turn one on for us and he'll get 60 off 30 balls for us because he's an excellent player of spin and hits the ball a long way. Yeah, I thought Stoinis up the top was fantastic. I thought he batted beautifully. Um, Played within himself, he's probably a bit unlucky to get out the way he did. Uh, crunch one to me wicket. Next time he'll probably just go over the top. But uh, yeah, Usman in the runs again. Hopefully steadies the ship a bit more for next time. But I mean, thought we're beautiful. We've still got Sean Marsh on the boundary, on the sideline. So he'll come back in, no doubt. Um, how that how that restructures our batting lineup, I'm not sure. But that'll be one for the coaches. Yep, yep. Um, yeah, it's a strange one. You always feel like you're, we're in the game and then, uh, you know, a wicket at the wrong time or something like that. But I know it means to get out. It's just, it just seems to be happening for us at the, at the moment. Um, and it, it, it will click. Hopefully it clicks, you know, before the next 21 day internationals. But um, I, the boys are too good to keep going through dry spells like Finchie and 
and the like. So that, they'll definitely come out of it and hopefully we can put some big scores on the board for the remaining series. Yeah, I've been really impressed with Finchie. Um, he hasn't—he actually hasn't been grumpy or angry or let that anything overflow into his captaincy or into the around the boys. He's been really good. Um, obviously, he's not scoring the runs he wants to, but he has been an absolute um, legend around the boys. So I've got absolutely only good things to say about that. Yeah, I don't think it shifts too much. Obviously, they're one 0 up in this series, so I think they've got the, you know, the upper hand. But I think that it was a really closely fought game. Um, we played well; they they played better in the end. But I mean, I, th I think it's a really close, close two teams, and um, the next four games should be even tighter. I think.